Good morning, delegates. This is Kishore from Buddhist College. I would like to state about uh, Hesbach theory. Hesbach theory states about two factors which influence at work factor at work uh, place. Uh, one is uh, the hygiene factors, and uh, another one is motivational factors. You know, these two factors uh, really influence at a workplace. Uh, the first one which I like to explain is about the hygiene factors. Hygiene factors include working conditions, co-worker relations, policies and rules, supervisor quality and uh, base wage salary. All these factors influence a worker to dissatisfy him. Uh, and the another part is the motivational factors. Uh, motivational factors, we, uh, we can mention it like this, uh, according to Hesbach, uh, it is achievement, recognition, responsibility, work itself, advancement uh, in, the, in the job, and personal growth. You know, these two factors influence a lot at a workplace. Uh, the first part which I uh, said is the hygiene factor. Hygiene factor does not really motivate uh, but it dissatisfies, uh, it dissatisfies a worker. And on the other part, motivational factor influences the satisfaction level, uh, increases the satisfaction level of a worker. Now this part, dissatisfaction and satisfaction level. Uh, uh, according to Herzberg, it is very clear that the hygiene factor should be there in the workplace. If the hygiene factors is not there, it will definitely affect the, the the dissatisfaction level of a worker. On the other hand, if everything is in place, a good working condition, co-worker, good relations, relations with the workers, policies and rules are very good, supervisor is very good, and the salary structure is also very good. Imagine if all this is set, and if you think that a worker will work nicely, then you are going on a wrong side. It means that these are the basic things which should be there in the workplace. And about that, you need to think about motivational factors. So, when a, uh, when a work culture, or a, uh, at a workplace, at a work environment, all these hygiene factors should be there. Like for example, as a professor, uh, a, good, a table, a chair, a printer, a laptop, a computer, uh, all this should be in place. And all the lecture, all the, uh, uh, all the lecture, uh, uh, assisting aid should be there in place and after that we should talk about a uh, lecturer or assistant professors a uh, professor's uh, satisfaction level so only after that you can talk about motivation of a uh, uh, professors that is uh, how to achieve how to grow uh, and the how to get recognized work itself and advancement and personal growth so uh, to conclude there are two factors which are stated by Herzberg. One is hygiene factor and motivational factor. Hygiene factor should be at place. The motivational factor is about that. Thank you very much. Kishore.